Okay, so in this video we have worked out how to work out the area of a triangle and we've worked out how to work out an area of a segment. Oh, sorry, area of a sector. So now I want to look at area of a segment. And see this blue bit here that's popping out from the end of this triangle? That bit, doing it in blue, perhaps not the best plan. Do it in green. This bit here is what we call a segment. Okay, and it's basically, if I can grab my triangle, it is basically the area, it's not gonna let me grab it, damn. Uh, it's the area of a sector minus the area of a triangle. So therefore, if I want to work out the area of a segment, I work out area of sector first. And remember the formula from last time was a half angle radius squared, but our angle had to be in radians. And our area of our triangle was, oops, didn't want to do that, area of triangle was a half AB sine C. So I can do that fairly easily. So first off, I want to convert my 50 degrees from degrees to radians, because otherwise I can't do anything. So let's go up to here. So 50 degrees into radians is 50 divided by 180 times pi. 50 divided by 180 times pi gives me 0. 0.8727. Remember, I've rounded that to four decimal places, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the whole decimal that I have. So therefore, my area of my sector is a half times 0 0.8727 times my radius, which is 7 squared. So that gives me an area of 21.3 8 centimetres squared. My area of my triangle is a half times 7 times 7, because my A and B are the same, sine Fifty degrees. Now remember, I need to make sure my calculator is in degrees mode. You could have done it with your radians if you wanted to, but I'd much rather use the exact number. And I've been told the exact number in degrees, and therefore I can use that. And that area of my sector is 18.77. My area of my segment equals the area of my sector, which is 21.38, minus the area of my triangle, which is 18.77. So 21.38 minus that gives me 2.61. And there you go. All done. So that's... 2.61 centimetres squared. Cool.